What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to bring you an updated guide to my last one about where the best places are to farm iron chunks as well as rawhide because that seems to be the bottleneck. The huge community had a big outrage about this. So Adam Fletcher uh, tweeted an hour ago talking about they pushed out a new hot fix with rawhides and increases to rawhides and iron chunks. So this is the hot fix that you guys see here. So the acquisition rates for rawhide and iron chunks has been increased as well as increased material gains from the seething opal rewards. So um, me and my team here, my buddies uh, from the community, me and my homies, we have been testing a lot of different things here. And I'm gonna kind of go over everything that we tested and show you the results that we got from the different various places that we farmed and just show you the best places to actually do this if you are still struggling with rawhide and iron chunks. So I wanna go look at my, I'll show you my kind of numbers tonight. I'm at 13,000 iron chunks and 7,100 rawhide. Um, through the testing, we gained a bunch, but we made a, a table, which I have updated for you guys. So if you guys checked out the last video, these numbers over here on the left were all the numbers that we did from testing in some of the best places to go, which was the Temple of Rot and just salvaging gear. So a few things first for this video, salvaging gear did not change. Okay. So salvaging anything from legendaries, GAs, uniques, GAs, and mythics all stay the same. This did not change. So the way that this reads is it says acquisition rate. So I'm assuming this is like, they must have just dumbed it down to what you get from doing like overworld dungeons, etc. because we didn't get anything new from salvaging, which is kind of a disappointment. Next is the new temple of rot. Okay. We, I got 140. Now, remember, I just want to make a disclaimer here that these are all ranges. This is why the raw hide has a plus minus column here. But Temple of Ra, I got 140. My two teammates got around 100. So there's a nice range in all of these numbers that I'm going to give you in this video. So Temple of Ra uh, with Rawhide definitely was a little bit better, at least on average. So that's kind of nice if you want to do that with teammates. In my last video, you can go check that out and see how to go ahead and farm that. It's super boring, but if you want to, it's very, very quick. You can get a lot of Rawhide. So let's go over to the updated column and just show you everything that we tested here. So we tested Hordes, Blood Maidens, Whispers with different caches, uh, Realm Walker, the Tormented Bosses, a Cellar, Nightmare Dungeons, and then a Pit with the Opal. So all of these numbers besides the Pit was all tested without the Opal because in the hotfix, the increased material gains from the Seething Opal Rewards. Although that is nice, um, you know, Opals you don't get every single time. It's completely random on, you know, when you open these. So if you come over here to the Opals, you go to the materials one, it says enemies routinely drop additional herbs in crafting. So this does not mean that they drop them every time. It is not automatic. Um, however, when they do drop, it is a nice little buff. So just keep that in mind when you are talking about this. But for the purposes of testing, we had to go into this without like using that to inflate the numbers. Because if you are going to go through whatever farming strategy that you guys do want to do and you're using the opal of materials obviously you're going to get more right so opals is just better overall we we wanted to test it what it was without so hordes we got 300 okay so i'm going to talk about each one and just kind of give my advice and then tell you which ones are the best in my opinion so hordes i got 300 one of my uh, teammates got like almost 400 so it's like it's a nice range so, however, the, the, the difficulty with hordes is because the lowest one you can do is six waves. So you could do six waves, which at each one at a minute, a few like 10 seconds in between the startup and selecting your new Bane Boon, etc. This is really like an eight minute run, maybe nine minutes uh, total in hordes. But if you are doing the hordes, this is really nice because you're getting these raw hides at the end and keep in mind you do have to open the level 200 chest when you are doing this this is where you get the materials so this is nice because it's kind of like passive raw hide and you're you know you're opening up the level 200 chest and then you're getting like you're spending the rest on your materials chest which is really nice so six waves is the lowest so this does not change if you are doing eight or ten waves it does not matter so it, it's not increased because you're doing more waves. So the horse is kind of nice. It just takes really long. Blood and Maiden, probably one of the most consistent ones. On average, we got about 100 
rawhide every single time. If you guys do not know, it takes one minute total time to do this. When you summon her, from the moment that you place the third heart until the time that you can kill her, if you can kill her really fast, it is one minute until the time that she spawns. So 60 seconds to get 100 is pretty good. That's not bad whatsoever. Now, the Whisper Cash is here. Oh, one, one last thing about the uh, Blood Maiden. If you do have at least a three-player party, three players or there's other people in the overworld, if everybody's just putting hearts in, this can be a very, very good farming strategy for Rawhide because obviously you're using one-third of your hearts if you have multiple people doing this and participating or in your party. And if you guys can one-shot her or kill her really quickly, not only that, but you're getting a bunch of cinders, and this includes all the rawhide that you're killing from the monsters that are spawning, so the elites, etc. right? So Blood Maiden's pretty good. You're getting some good gear. You're getting some decent gold and stuff. So Blood Maiden is definitely really, really good. Uh, let's go over to Whispers. So we had a couple different caches here. So you got your basic white cache, your legendary cache, and the chaos cache. So when you come over here to the um, to your stash here, I have a couple of these because I'm working on another uh, EXP video for solo players. But you have your white cash here, which is just your basic ones, right? Then you have your greater cash, which can be collection of rings, chests, gloves, right? Whatever that. And then you have your chaos one, which is really nice. And then there's one bonus one, which is the best possible one if you get it, which is the greater collection of materials. So this one will give you a crap ton. I didn't add this in because it's pretty rare to get it. But it's the same thing with the chaos one. Chaos, uh, the greater collection of chaos is pretty rare to get. So on average, you're just going to go with the white and legendary. So you have 300 on average from the white, 450 plus minus on the legendary cash. And then my teammate did open up a chaos, which is somewhere between 800 to 1,000 um, rawhide and in the actual cash itself. So whisper caches are pretty good. They're kind of nice with the buff. However, it's just the point of going through and having to actually get 10 you know, grim favors to do this. So obviously the best and most fastest way to do this would be coming over to the PVP zone, which you can see my two, my two in the PVP zone are already gone because we had to do this for the testing. So killing the aberration here or the abomination, excuse me, gives five. Otherwise you could just do the, the uh, dungeons cause they give five, but keep in mind on average, you're doing these in sub two minutes. So with teleportation to there or travel to the dungeons, uh, two dungeons a piece because they get 10, you know, you're looking at somewhere between like four to really, it's really like five to 10 minutes to get two of these done plus turn in. So Tree of Whispers, although they're pretty nice, like 10 minutes on average just for one turn in. I mean, obviously you can make this a little bit faster, but it's a plus minus. So, but the, the actual rewards that you get from her are actually kind of nice. So if you're just passively getting Whispers, this is a really good way to um, kind of get your raw hide up if you're struggling here. Next is all the different um, events that we had tried. So we got Realm Walker, which is obviously the seasonal event and where you get your opal of materials from. On average, you're getting about 500 here. This is really good. Um, the, the struggle with the Realm Walker, uh, as well as legions, is because you are stuck behind a time gate. Okay, so if you come in here into the zone now, I have legions in two minutes, and right now I do not have a Realm Walker, so it's not a sufficient farm as far as rawhide per hour. So this really doesn't work. However, when it is up and you do want to do it, you will get a nice chunk of materials, and then make sure when you're in there to go ahead and do the material um, dungeon, so that way you can get the opal of materials to kind of you know ripple effect that in your other pieces of content. Torment bosses surprisingly did not change. I'm actually surprised at this. It's somewhere between 100 to 200 at the high end. 200 is the high end. But Torment bosses seem to be the same. So um, although if you do have a crap ton of mats and you're just farming these bosses, I do think this is a really great way to do this. So I think this is good. Um, next, the seller. Seller is absolute trash do not waste your time in this it takes about i don't know 10 seconds to complete these but on average only getting 15 rawhide is not even worth your time which is unfortunate because when you do come in here and actually look under rawhide it says that sellers even in yellow is like one of the better places to do this it's just really really bad so definitely not worth your time Next, we tested Nightmare Dungeons as well as the pit with Opals. So Nightmare Dungeons is about the same. It's about 100 um, on average, maybe a little more. Um, but for the time in there, and this is clearing the entire map of the dungeon, right? Because every single elite is going to give you the material. So you want to make sure you clear the entire dungeon. So on average, like 
two to three minutes or four minutes if you have a slower build on a nightmare dungeon is just not sufficient time as far as farming raw hides but 100 is pretty decent and then we did the pit with the opal because at the end is the only whoops is the only place you can actually get them is after killing the boss and he drops some so on average we got 50 um with the opal actually popped maybe you can get upwards of 150 maybe more if you get a really good opal drop but this just wasn't sufficient time whatsoever so in my opinion guys after testing this with my teammates shout out to my teammates uh, for helping me with this demon and chris appreciate you guys so much uh so in my opinion the best possible place is either going to be doing the temple of rot farm at, again opening the chest and rinse repeat there or go do the blood maiden i think the blood maiden by far is the best um especially if you are in a group now if you're not trying to farm just rawhide per hour like and you don't care about getting just rawhide then the hordes is by far the best place because then you're kind of doing the two birds with one stone. So you're going to get raw hide at the end, and then you're going to be getting all of your obducite and everything for your master working materials as well. So um, as well as gear and all those other things. So I would say go do Temple of Rot or go do Farm Blood Maiden and the Hell Tides, which I think is a very, very strong idea here. Um, and then Hordes, if you're not really interested in farming the maximum amount of raw hide per hour. So um, that's what I have for you guys. That's from the testing. We did, we've done this over an hour. So this is what I have for you guys. Like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys got. Maybe the numbers are going to be a little bit higher or lower because this is a range. Um, but let me know if you have any other strategies for this down in the comments. Let me know, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.